Okay, we're on the Offa's Dyke Trail, just to the north of Trevonan now, and here um, you have a good view over the Offa's Dyke to the east, and you therefore see from a Welsh perspective onto the monument. At this location, Offa's Dyke is doing something it doesn't really want to do. It's looking uphill. It likes, if it possible, to have control over the land to the west, but here it's having to navigate between hills, and it navigates this line that allows only perhaps limited views to the west. This location is worthy of note because the lo local community have put up this wonderful a view through time um, poster that allows you to understand and appreciate that not only are we standing on the line, the National Trail follows the line of a leet, a 19th century leet uh, built to feed water to the brickworks, the potteries and the coal mining that was taking place here from the 18th and 19th centuries. Um, but also to allow us a view over some of the lumps and bumps of that industry at, at, to see Offa's Dyke. So if you come and look over here in this field, following Chapel Lane with that line of houses and then it becoming clearer just to this side of the lane, you can see Offa's Dyke running. And it keeps going right the way up and you see it following the hedge line up the hill and over. We're going to follow that line and look at its different levels of survival because even in this small area, Offers Dyke survives in different ways. So in this field, you can see the bank, but the ditch is almost completely gone. As we go up the hill, you'll see bits of bank, and then near the top, we have an amazing survival of both bank and ditch together. Um, when it gets further away from the village. So this short section of Offa's Dyke, at one level is nothing special. Another level is really useful because it shows the different ways in which it survives, in and out of field boundaries, roads, um, settlement, and then at the top of the hill, some of the best levels of survival.